Good day, Great Hills. Welcome to this next lesson. We're carrying on with looking at long questions from the physics paper. It says a toy cannon, mass 1.6 kilograms, is at rest on a rough horizontal surface as shown in the diagram. A steel marble, mass 0.8 kilograms, is fired horizontally to the east. Immediately after firing the marble, the cannon moves to the west. Okay, so this steel marble travels to the east and the cannon moves to the west with a velocity of 0.26 meters per second. So I'm thinking that since we have a cannon that is firing off a cannonball, that we're looking at a momentum type question. Possibly, we'll have to see. Now it says, calculate the speed of the steel marble immediately after firing a steel marble after firing the marble. Okay, so yes, we are. We're looking at momentum and that question there is using the conservation of momentum. And what we're doing is we're going P before equals P after. And this is a pretty easy one in the sense that you just need to realize that to, the, the marble was in the middle of the cannon, okay, to start with, and they were both stationary. So the momentum before was zero. That's the only tricky part of this question. After that, it's really easy. You then also need to choose a direction as positive, and I'm going to choose left or to the west as positive simply because I've got that velocity already. So therefore, we've got zero is equal to the mass of the cannon, the velocity final of the cannon, plus the mass of the marble, the final velocity of the marble. Okay, so zero is equal to the mass of the cannon, which is one comma six, times by its velocity of naught comma two six, plus the mass of the marble, which they tell us is naught comma eight, times the final velocity of the marble. So we're going to multiply this and take it across. Let's do that. So you've got one point six times naught comma two six. And that is equal to 0, 0,416, so that becomes minus 0, 0,416 is equal to 0, 0,8 VFM. So therefore, the final velocity of the marble is going to be minus 0, 0,416 over 0, 0,8. So we divide this by 0, 0,8 and we get naught comma five two minus naught comma five two is the final velocity of the marble. So we haven't finished the question because they've said calculate the speed. So admittedly we just have to write well the answer is naught comma five two but you always have to put your units in so it's meters per second. And since they've only asked you for the speed, speed is a scalar so we don't actually have to give a direction and we don't have to say that it's right to the right, in other words, or that is negative. The steel marble experiences a force F during the firing. Explain in terms of F how the force experienced by the cannon compares to that with the steel marble. Okay, this is just Newton 3. And it's hard to believe, I know, but basically the cannonball and the marble experience the same size force. The only reason they move differently is simply because of their sizes. So Newton's third law says if an object A exerts a force on object B then an object B will exert an equal but opposite force on object A. So the answer is that they will feel the same force but in opposite directions. Now it says the cannon reaches point A with the speed of 0, 0,2. So here it's going at 0, 0,2 meters per second. And then moves down a rough long slope, okay, AB. Explain why this is not a closed system, because it's a rough long slope, there is friction. Okay, as soon as you've got friction, you do not have a closed system, okay, because you've got non-conservative forces. Now it says calculate the kinetic frictional force experienced by the cannon as it moves from A to B if the coefficient of the kinetic friction mu k is 0, 0,12. Okay, so the force of friction equals mu k Fn, but this is at a slope, okay, so here is our cannon and this is the normal but this here is the force of gravity. So in this case the normal force is equal to the force gravity perpendicular and this angle here is 30 degrees in the angle we want. So this would be the adjacent side 
and we've got the hypotenuse which is FG so therefore we can say that if G perpendicular is equal to FG cos 30 degrees grade 12. If you want to know how I'm doing this, go back go back to the grade 11 and grade 10 blocks on hills and go practice that and understand it there, okay? So this is FG perpendicular is equal to FG cos 30 degrees, okay? And that FG perpendicular is equal to the normal force but in the opposite direction, right? So therefore, we can say the force of friction is equal to, the force of friction is equal to the mu k, which is 0, 1, 2, right, times by Fg perpendicular, which is the mass, which is going to be 1, 6, times acceleration due to gravity, which is 9, 8, times cos of 30 degrees. Okay, so we just have to pop that in our calculator. So, we say 0.12 times 1.6 times 9.8 times cos of 30, close bracket, equals 1,63. So the force of friction is 1,63 newtons. Okay, now it says using energy principles only, calculate the velocity of the cannon at point B. At point B. Okay, so what they really want us to work out is use the work energy principle, which says that the work done is equal to the change in that kinetic energy. Okay, the change in the kinetic energy. And they want to know what is the velocity at point B. So the work done is going to be the work done against friction, okay, and the change in kinetic energy is going to be the gain in kinetic energy. But please note that we've also lost some height, but we're not going to worry about that too much. So the work done is going to be, let me just think about this. Yeah, I'm right. So the work done is going to be the work done against the force of friction. Okay, so hang on, the work done, the work, the network done is going to be F net delta X. Do you agree? And the net force on this is going to be the horizontal component of the force of gravity pulling it down plus the force of friction pulling it up, okay, or refusing, preventing it from going down the slope. So therefore, we can say that W net, the network done, is equal to the force of gravity parallel plus the force of friction, where again, this is just the times by, sorry, delta x, where this, remember, is just the sum of all the forces. We haven't done any directions yet. And I'm going to choose down the slope as positive, right? So therefore, this is going to be F G sine 30 degrees, okay, and again because if this is cos Fg, then this is going to be Fg sine 30 minus the force of friction which you've just worked out is 1,63 times by the displacement of 0,5 and that is the network done. So let's just pop this in a calculator because Fg is the mass which is going to be 1,6 times by 9,8. So let's pop that in a calculator now. So you've got 1.6 times 9.8 times sine of 30 close bracket equals minus 1.63 equals times by 0 0.5 because that is the displacement down the slope. So therefore we've got 3.11. So the network done is 
joules, but that 3 comma 1 1 joules is equal to delta K, the change in the kinetic energy. This is equal to a half MVF squared minus a half MVI squared, right? Wherefore we can take out a half times M and we're left with VF squared minus VI squared. Then we're going to times this through or divide by, so you've got 3 comma 1 1 divided by a half times the mass which is 1 comma 6 is equal to VF squared minus the initial velocity which was 0 comma 2 all squared. And now I'm running out of space, so I'm going to raise the momentum part of this question. And I'm changing colors so you can see what I'm writing. So I'm writing, taking this here and putting it up here. So you've got 3 comma 1 1 over 1 half of 1.6 is 0 comma 8 plus 0 comma 2 all squared is going to be VF squared. So let's pop that in our calculator. So we've got, it's clear, 3.11 over 0.8 plus bracket 0.2 close bracket squared equals, and then we're going to square root our answer immediately, so that becomes 1.98. The final velocity at the bottom of the hill is 1.98 meters per second. And there you go. Wow, great tools. That was quite a nice question. Please make sure that you can do these type of work energy problems. They love asking these as well. Have a great day.